What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com. So in today's video, I wanted to highlight a new module that I've added in the SketchUp Essentials course specifically for helping you model cabinets. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. And so we're in the middle of our Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale. You're gonna be able to get 50% off of a monthly membership or even more on the annual membership. So if you do want to start learning SketchUp, um, you've got uh, just under 48 hours to get access to that. But specifically, I wanted to highlight the cabinet essentials and also kind of the format of the course. And so what I've done is I wanted to have the ability in the course to not only teach people the fundamentals of SketchUp, which is super important, right? So um, I wanted it to be set up where people could learn the basics and the basics are a little bit universal, but then I also wanted to add some deep dives that allowed me to continue adding things to the course, but that not everyone needed. So the way the course is currently set up is I've got it set up where I have my fundamentals section. So this is three sections in the course that everyone should go through. There's the fundamentals of SketchUp section, which is going to teach you everything you need to know about the tools in SketchUp right? So that's going to be kind of a, here's the tools you need to learn and also how to learn them and some of the important things about learning them. After that, I think modeling along is super important. So we've got an example project that you're gonna follow through with me and learn step by step how to create the parts and pieces in the in, in a model, right? You're gonna learn how to set a model up properly, um, how to group things, um, everything about setting up a model that's easy to use, but also ready to go into layout later. And then finally, we've got an architectural plans and layout section, which is going to teach you how to take that model and create plans in layout. So those are kind of fundamentals that I think every student should go through. But what I've started doing is I've started adding deep dives to the course as well. So these are areas where you can go in depth on different topics, right? So I've got one about the fundamentals of photo photorealistic rendering, and it's going to teach you how to pick a rendering program, how to get started with rendering and everything that you need to know um, so you can really dive deep in rendering and again the way this is set up is if you don't want to learn rendering you don't need it right you can just go through the fundamentals up above and you can focus on SketchUp model but if you do we've got access to the rendering fundamentals we've also got access to the complete twin motion essentials course for more rendering training but in this case, what I wanted to highlight is I wanted to highlight my new section, which is the cabinet essentials. And so one of the things you actually spend a ton of time on in SketchUp is modeling cabinets, right? Getting them to be the way that you need them to be, other things like that. Well, and you can find out more about the cabinet essentials, which is a module contained inside of the overall SketchUp Essentials course by visiting the sketchupessentials.com slash the cabinet essentials. But basically, this is a section I've created that's going to dive deep into creating realistic cabinets um, that have the proper measurements and dimensions so that you can actually use them as joinery drawings or um, cabinet drawings for actually um, using them in projects. And so this teaches you a fast, easy way to work with those cabinets, how to set them up properly so that you can create great looking plans, as well as setting up a cabinet library so you're not reworking in future projects. And so you can see this is how it's broken down. Like first off, we talk about cabinets themselves, how they come together and what you need to know so that you can model them in a way that matches the way that they're actually going to be built. So in, then in the second module, there's things for modeling in SketchUp that you need to know in order to be faster. So this section is going to teach you all of those SketchUp tools that you need to know to model, to model cabinets quickly. Then we're going to do some actual cabinet modeling in the course. So you can actually follow along you can learn how to create regular base cabinets, um, corner cabinets, as well as wall cabinets, as well as adding the trim in a way that allows you to really quickly work with the cabinet styles. And you can do this with any door style, any hardware style, anything like that. We're also going to talk a lot about materials because the materials that you use on your cabinets is actually really important because it sets the way that your cabinets look in real life. Same with countertops. So you're going to learn everything you need to know about adding those realistic materials to your cabinets. Then what we're going to do is we're actually going to go through and we're going to model a cabinet or we're going to model a kitchen step by step. So I'm going to take you start to finish modeling this complete kitchen. And not only are we going to model the kitchen, we're also going to go through setting this up 
so that you can create color and black and white floor plans that can go into layout so that you can use this in order to create plans. So um, you'll learn how to create color, you'll learn how to create black and white floor plans as well as elevations in this section of the course. So this is gonna teach you how to set all of this up. One of the things that I think you're going to find really helpful is not only that, you're also going to learn how to create a library of cabinets for yourself so that you can quickly access them and bring them into projects. So we'll use this library of cabinets for things like tall cabinets, corner cabinets, as well as single and double cabinets um, in different styles, right? So if there's face frames, we're going to learn how to model with face frames, you're literally going to be able to create whatever kind of cabinets that you want um, in this section of the course. And then finally, you're going to learn how to take all of this over into layout in order to create professional looking plans and elevations. And then once we get into layout, you're going to learn how to set up your layout plans in a way where you can create floor plans with dimensions as well as elevations and sections too. So you can create details as well. So we're going to learn how to set these up so that they have the dimensions, they have the swings and the drawer indicators on them. Everything you need in order to create great looking plans and sections inside of layout. So this deep dive is something I'm really proud of and it's something that I wanted people to be able to um, go to if they wanted to create more more realistic cabinets. Note this is only one of the many things contained inside of the SketchUp Essentials course. Note this is just one of the things that I have included in the SketchUp Essentials course. I really want this course to be the one-stop shop where you can learn everything that you need in order to create what you need in SketchUp and Layout. And so I will be adding additional stuff in the future, but I'd love to see you in the course right now. That Black Friday sale is gonna go through 11.59 p.m. tomorrow night. And so if you are interested in learning a lot more about creating cabinets in SketchUp, this is just one of the many modules contained inside of the SketchUp Essentials course. You can check it out at the sketchupessentials.com slash course. So as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.